Standby, studio. Quiet, please. Roll, telecine. Good evening and welcome to our viewers, all 20 of you. In our programme tonight we feature the Bournemouth Brass Band in a special recording made by our outside broadcast unit earlier this year and we've also got film of the Bevington family on holiday in South Devon. But we start with that society wedding of the year involving Mr John Bevington with special film just rushed into our studio. As you probably guess, this is no ordinary television studio. It is in fact an amateur studio and it occupies the bedroom of a private house at Worley in Worcestershire. And from here are beamed television pictures to other amateur studios throughout the Midlands. Well, this one has been designed and built by Mr Arthur Bevington, a retired electronics engineer. Mr Bevington, can you uh, tell me how all this began? Well, I retired due to ill health some two and a half years ago and having been a radio ham for many years since before the last war I decided to uh, to, tra to, to attempt to transmit television pictures and uh, I decided to to uh, contact the uh, ITV company in Birmingham for some of their obsolete gear which uh, they very kindly uh, let me have it took about 12 months to repair it and get it in working order and we first put out pictures about 18 months ago. The, the, the camera in use at the moment is a Marconi Mark III image orthicon, a four and a half inch image orthicon. I have several uh, smaller cameras, uh, uh, an EMI uh, uh, Vidicon camera. Now you've also got telecine machines to I transmit uh, moving pictures, film in other words. This, this is quite correct. This also came from uh, ITV and um, it's in another part of the house. Uh, the, the room isn't uh, big enough to get all this, uh, this equipment in, if you can understand me. And over here you've got a videotape machine. I, have, um, I, I can put out uh, live pictures, videotape, um, telecine. And I also have a portable uh, videotape, uh, which I take out on holidays and things like this to take uh, things of interest. Well, let's come on to the programmes. What sort of programmes do you put out? Well, we are not allowed to put a programme in the sense of the word. It, it has got to be um, amateur, uh, things of interest, things of interest to other hands, technical interest. We put out um, a videotape for... Uh, other hams to see what the uh, their transmission is like. In other words, uh, last night I was um, receiving pictures from G6 MXW Bleak T. I recorded these pictures and played them back to him 20 minutes after so that he could see what type of pictures he was putting out uh, by my retransmitting them back to him. As you said earlier, you're not in this by yourself. Your son helps you considerably. In fact, he's taking pictures of us right now. What's been his role in developing the studio? Uh, his role has been the hard work, if I may say so. Uh, cutting holes in chassis to build a transmitter and uh, doing all the drilling and filing and cutting that's required to, to make a transmitter. Well, let's talk about that transmitter, because it's behind you there, isn't it? Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, this is homemade, is it? Yes, it's a homemade transmitter. Uh, this is the, what I will now term the driver stage for a larger transmitter. The um, uh, RF output on this transmitter is some 14, 15 watts peak white. So how far away could a viewer pick up your signals? Well, I have been picked up in Telford, Leicester, Penn. Uh, so it's quite a way. 
Oh, quite a distance, oh yes. Well, there we are, and uh, let's finish as we began, shall we, by saying good night to the other 20 stations on the amateur band. Thank you for joining us tonight. That's all from our station, G6 AFV Stroke T. For tonight, we hope you've enjoyed our programmes. We'll be transmitting again tomorrow night, so until then, good night. This is G6 AFV Stroke T signing with G6 MXW Stroke T after a very interesting evening. Uh, wishing all the viewers a very good night. G6 AFV Stroke T is now tuning the 70 centimeter band before going QRT. Good night everybody.